the next speaker is Dr. Wong from Cincinnati, uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Dr. Wong is part of this team, uh, the mitochondria expert. He has, a, he has multiple uh, board certification, pediatrician, I think. He's a pediatrician and a medical geneticist, which is <laughs> a, lot, a lot to uh, take care of. And he has established a center for uh, mitochondrial disease in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. So it's my pleasure to welcome you, sir, and uh, you will obviously talk about mitochondria and reproductive medicine. Well, it's my pleasure being here. I want to also thank Dr. Zhang gave me this opportunity to invite me to here. And I really admire his, uh, his work and also his uh, persistency. And uh, so uh, I know you see, uh, you're, uh, in Chinese, we are saying uh, people eating the first crop is the breakfast one. So I'm very glad to be a part of a team for this uh, uh, first, uh, first baby born. And then, so I'm, uh, you see, uh, a clinical genetics. And then, so I take care of uh, a patient with mitochondrial disease uh, every day. So this is, uh, you see, the first part. Probably I'm going to tell you about, you see, about mitochondrial disease. And then, so why, you see, this mitochondrial replacement is so important. And then, so I will going to share you some of, share some of the information uh, very, some uh, very new information on the link. So, um, uh, the link. So, we, uh, I mean, I would like to uh, generate some discussion. As uh, David said, uh, as a physician, often we have a more question than answer. Okay, so uh, uh, before I, I say that, I, um, you see, I, am a cons I serve as a consultant of a, a company, diagnostic company in uh, California, and also a company in, in China. And then so uh, most of people probably uh, know pretty well, you see, my country is a place to make energy. But you see, beside the energy, there's uh, so many things important for, you see, reproductive medicine. For example, this morning we talk about apoptosis, right? You see, the apoptosis, my country play a very important role because, you see, all cytokine C is installing this, uh, my country, and the, which is the initiate, will initiate the, uh, 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 apoptosis. And another thing is, you see, uh, we, uh, when we're making uh, energy, you also create a lot of problems. You know, you see, uh, it's, I always say this, uh, my country is like our fireplace, right? You see, uh, when we generate some heat to warm up your house, you also create, a, produce a lot of smoke. This smoke can damage your house. So this is radical, free radical probably is very important for, you see, the aging of, you see, uh, uh, ovary. And there are many misconceptions, you see, uh, my country, you see, that most people see my country like this. This is, uh, you see, probably most time you see a textbook. And real my country is like this here. And they, so like uh, us, you see, we like each other, we get together here. Like, and uh, if you don't like to each other, you separate. So my country we call fusion the fusion. This is a very important function, you see. And like, so in recent years, you see, uh, uh, my country, you see, the uh, uh, research has been uh, become very important topic for many fields. You know, not just uh, you see a rare my country disease. We talk about it, Lee syndrome, etc. But uh, you see, this my country disease being very active. Uh, my country uh, research has been very active in cancer. You see, neurodegenerative disease. And then like, so recent year really get a lot of attention. So this is a one for. Uh, important concept, you see, my country is tubular structure, like constantly fission and fusion. So when you, are, when you are fusion, try to rescue some my country is not functioning very well. If you fission, you see, try to separate some, you see, uh, my country, which is not working and then so create a problem and then use the autophagy, you see, my, what we call my, mitophagy to clean up the my country. Okay, so uh, another misconception is you see people always feel, okay, my country's disease is causing by this, uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, circle small uh, DNA, which is only 16.5 KB. But you see that's big number for gene. You see over 1,500 gene from nuclear require for my country function the structure. You see, that will be bring a very important question. You see, when we do mitochondria re replacement, how this mitochondria and the nuclear intact? So this is, a, you see, uh, um, we still have to be uh, uh, very careful many of the uh, things we do here. 
And then, so you see, of course, you see this mitochondria, you see a circle uh, mitochondria genome, even it's very small, but very important, you know, pretty much you see uh, encode the protein, which is, you see, 13 protein re uh, required for, you see, uh, um, uh, mitochondria function for uh, 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 oxidative phosphorylation. And then, so mitochondria, uh, this is a place that have to make their own DNA. So you see, it make their own protein. So you all protein, uh, you see, uh, uh, protein synthesized machinery has been in, inside the mitochondria. So any of this mutation can cause uh, dysfunction of a mitochondria. And then so compare the nuclear and the mitochondria, nuclear is much more simple. You see the nuclear, you see pretty much we call big genome. You see only have to two copies, one from father, one from mother. And then so you see uh, if you have a genotype, only three, three possibility, either both copy mutated or one copy is wild type, but one is mutated, or oh, both wild type. But the mitochondria, you see each cell, you have hundreds and thousands, even 10,000 for mitochondria. So the mutation rate can be a bit different. You can have 1% they mutated, 2% they mutated, 10% then 100%. And the length of that call, we call heteroplasmy. So this is a, a wonderful feature for mitochondria uh, genome. Okay, so, and the length of we are, we are talk about, you see that this is exclusively uh, so far, everyone feel you see mitochondrial genome is exclusively inherited from mother, but I'm going to show you something uh, but in rare situation. So in that case, that means that every, if a woman is a carrier of a mutation, all of her children could be affected. So that's a kind of sad, you know, we, we are, I have to tell you. So if you see, if look at compared to nuclear, nuclear, if autosomal dominant, you have 50%, and then so recessive, you probably 25%. But you see, if a woman, if I have a mutation in my country genome, and then so your, your chances could be 100%. So that's one. And then so we are going to come up with many of the features, you see how, how this is, uh, you see, the uh, rep, um, mitochondria segregate, and the length of uh, reproductive medicine, we're going to talk about, you see, uh, some uh, bottleneck effect. And the length, another crazy thing for mitochondria is the mutation rate is extremely higher. It's a tenfold to hundredfold higher. There are two possibilities. One is, you see, as I said, mitochondria constantly generate reactive oxygen species that can damage your DNA. That's number one. Number two, because the DNA polymers gamma which is for DNA replication, the fidelity is not as high as nuclear, uh, you see. You see uh, polymers in nuclear, if you see incorporate wrong nucleotide, they can, they can repair. But you see the efficiency for repair in my country is not as good as, uh, as, uh, uh, as nuclear. And then, so this is, you can see, the very, very sad thing is, you see, you see this family every day. I'm, I, I'm, as a, you see, a first line of a, a patient care for my country disease. And then, so you can, some are very big family, you see, all maternal inherited. And then, so like this, this family is, you see all the time in this kind. And this is a family you see right before I came here to see. And then, so my genetic counselor, you see, she was a, definitely when we talked to them, you see, you, your carrier mutation and the length of definitely and the, and the length of mom was in, in tear and the length of my genetic counselor worked with me and she has, she has a one for a, a niece and the, which is same age as the, the children we see and she was, a, she was a very hard to accept it and so, and this kind of family is all, you see all the time. You see this is a, this is a, you see a, we are, um, uh, every day. Okay, you see uh, in terms of uh, heteroplasmy, and then so you see that if it's pretty much you have a mixture, you see a uh, uh, mutant, the uh, wild type, and it depends on you see how your cell divided, and if a cell like a divided this one, this cell will be completely normal. But if you see this, another cell can be high percentage. Of, so this is a random, you see, this is a very important concept, you see. And then so when we do this, you see my country replacement, it's very important to pick up, you see, condition, like what Dr. Lu just talked about it, and there is a high threshold of, you see, uh, uh, tolerance, so you see, and you, you don't want to have, you see, that someone, you see, if you have 20% mutation, you will have disease. And the length of the condition, you see, like a, uh, uh, the condition we, tr you have to pick up is at least the beginning, you have to make sure you see you have a high tolerance, you see, because you see you always have some carryover, you see, that nobody can do zero 
There's nobody can say I, I don't have any single mitochondria you carry off uh, by, by nuclear transfer. This is a, even you do a sequential, and, uh, uh, and I would come back to talk to you guys. You see, I'm, I'm not very fan for sequential uh, uh, transfer. Reason for that is you see that, you see we have a, we, our body, we have 10 trillion cells. We have 10 trillion cells. Okay, so if you can imagine how many times you see that my country have to replicate it, and then how many cells you see, any slight disadvantage or advantage will change the, the end up. You see, that's why you see is initially, of course, the less carryovers will be better, but you see that the most important is determined by the nature of a mutation and the length of some uh, question we probably sh we should talk about is the uh, nuclear and the mitochondria uh, compatibility. And then, so this is a give you a sample. This is from one patient here. You see the different tissue you can you can see, and this is a easy for make it easier. This is a like a, like a deletion. You can see even in same individual different tissue you can have a different ratio. Okay, so that's why you see make you see prenatal diagnosis uh, so hard. You know, you you see when you do uh, 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 you see uh, aminosynthesis, what you get is the fibroblast cell from uh, baby and the urine uh, epithelial cell. So so you don't re really reflect. You know what is the uh, you see percentage of mutation in the brain or other tissue. Of course, you see there's some uh, rule. You see, you generally follow normal distribution, but you see that if you have high mutation in, in aminosynthesis, it tends to have it, but you see you are not 100%. So that's why you see one, one thing we have to, you, see, you can imagine you see different tissue that have different percentage. And then so from the reproductive point of view, I think David gave a very nice uh, overview here. Uh, that this is a this is a from mouse and the length so very similar in human. Okay, so you see after fertilization, somehow my is not replicated, and length so actually because you see a cell keep it divided and the length cell numbers and you see a number of a copy number for my genome keep reduced, reduced to very low copy number. You see at the, in mouse like C seven E seven seven point five. And then you start to pick up, you see, you have huge copy number. So, so that's why you see that I think of early embryo development, is energy is not a dependent, you see, my country. So I, I, I'm glad to hear you see David say there's some uh, alternative uh, pathway. But it's a very similar to cancer. You know, cancer cell, you see, uh, you, they don't, they, they, my country is not functional. So that's why people say, you see, you treat the cancer, you should uh, 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 take care of my country. Okay, so that's, you see, that gave you an idea. You see, from way, you see fertilization, all this, you see, keep decrease. Okay, so that will give you, you see, idea. You see the called bottleneck, you see, because you see you have a few mitochondria here, and then so the cell, each cell can have a made different percentage of a, a mutation. That will be, and then so, and then so people, uh, and this is still, jury is still out, and then so if you Question is so what if you have a high percentage of mutation, can less, this embryo survive? Many people say this is a one kind of mechanism to you see save you see a good embryo you see, but uh, we still don't have a, a lot of direct evidence we need uh, we need still need to work on. So from my country disease point of view, my like children I'm taking care of every day. It's pretty much the most complicated condition can affect every single organ organ system, and then they can have, a, you see, any kind of symptoms, you know, you see the start any age, you know, in terms of inheritance, can be recessive, can be, uh, can be maternal inheritance, and all kinds of uh, 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 pattern. So, so, but you, you see that, you know, another thing you see that fascinating is, you see, even in same family, if you have a different percentage of mutation, you have a different disease. You carry the same mutation, but if I have five percentage, five percent mutation, you have one condition. Fifty percent another condition, and then, for example, MILAS, you see that we have high, high percentage, and there's uh, uh, three, four, two, four, uh, uh, two, three mutation. You have uh, a low percentage, more like a diabetes. But if you have high percentage, you have a severe neurological uh, problem. So. Um, 
Why you see in general rule is if you have a high, you see organ and the tissue need a high energy tend to be affected. You see like a brain. A brain only count 5% body weight, but you see that consume 20% energy. So if you have, you see my country is not working well, and you tend to have, you see uh, in children, uh, you have, you see uh, uh, developmental delay, seizure disorder is very common, okay? So the heart, we have our heart working hard every day and the night, and then so heart tend to be affected. Of course, you see muscle and the uh, organ for that, okay? so. So you see, we see a patient like this again, again, every day. So you see, like this family, and I see we, I've been counsel them for many years, and uh, so and they have two children died. You see, one's a four, one's a five, and these children now is the four. And they are so worried, and then someday this children, this child can disappear. Okay, and then so same here. You see, this is a, you see one for family I've been taking care of for a long time. And they, so, so that's why you see this, um, not talk about this family, you see the several generation. And they, so that's definitely desperately looking for the uh, treatment and the, you see how we can fix this problem. And then so I, I, you see, uh, I created one for a uh, symbol, you see, which hopefully you, in future, you see textbook will be used. Is you see, if you have a mitochondrial replacement and that we should have, you see once, we have divided this top of the nuclear and the mitochondria. This indicator, you see, mitochondria and nuclear. I also open for any suggestion if you have any better ideas. <laughs> what we should put in, and then so hopefully this will be uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in there forever. And then so the patient, like this is this is the family. You see, I was uh, the, that was you see four years ago. I moved to Cincinnati. They my f very first patient. Nice family, and then so uh, they have uh, one daughter girl, uh, one daughter and uh, one son, and then they are severely handicapped. You know, you can imagine this family, and then with uh, two children in a wheelchair, and then so you can see that the disease is progressive, and then you can see the difference in the last couple of years. And then this lady, I've been, uh, I've been take, I took care of her, and she, she lived with her do uh, dog, and then so, and then she had a seizure, you see, can, see, can you see it? She come to my clinic, she always wear, you see, a uh, uh, helmet because she could have a seizure anytime. So, but she leave it herself, how can, if she has a seizure, how, what to do? You see, this is a dog, help her to, they have a big telephone, you see, like dog can die 911, and every time dog 911, like ambulance come here. And then, so first time as, as I saw her two times, and the third time I say, well, you see, we're supposed to have an appointment, and then, and then so uh, end up, you see, between the, uh, before uh, the appointment, uh, she passed, uh, passed away. So it's uh, all a very sad story. So, so um, it's, uh, the treatment for my country disease is almost, uh, you see, very minimal. Okay, what, what we can do in, in clinic is, you see, uh, this is a, Respi uh, uh, respiratory chain, what you can do is, uh, you see, uh, you see we, uh, we do add, uh, you see, um, uh, we do add, uh, you see, uh, coenzyme, a co uh, cofactor here. And uh, because you see the, the mitochondrial disease is uh, like a met uh, metabolic disorder, right? You see the product, the major product is ATP. You cannot supplement ATP, ATP is not working, cannot pass the cell membrane. Okay, so you see, um, all you can do is try, hopefully, they have some residual enzyme. You can add more coenzyme, co hopefully increase the efficiency. And then so some people improve, but definitely not cure. And you see, you, can may, you may slow down, but you see that many people are not respond at all. So, so that's, you see, uh, and this is a pretty much a, a uh, recipe and then so there are many clinical trials try to develop a drug, but you see none of them uh, could be magical. You see the you see uh, uh, as uh, you see um, uh, we talk about you see uh, um, mitochondrial replacement. So so you see the it's definitely the field has been long time. You see mitochondrial medicine want this thing happen. You know this uh, mitochondrial replacement therapy. And then so after you see a UK uh, pa, uh, approve, and then so you see the uh, uh, Institute of Medicine and the organizer, you see group expert and the different people, and then so finally made a recommendation, and then so I think it's two years, two years ago, okay. So um, they say that we should um, 
uh, you see uh, a pool, you see uh, a mitochondria replacement. So that's that's what uh, uh, where we are now, and still hanging there. And then so nothing make um, too much progress here. Okay, my work, my work is so really my my job. You see, most of my job is really clone new disease gene. You see, because I told you, you see that over. 1,500 genes involved in my country. We pretty much only know very few, few genes. So, so that one big advantage for me is, you see, I'm a physician scientist. I'm a lab director. You see, I can see a patient in the morning and then put my sample to a molecular lab. If you have a mutation, and then make, we make a diagnosis. If we don't have a mutation, we probably can pull, push to you see whole axon sequencing the then identify gene. So last since I moved to Cincinnati, pretty much every year, every year we, on average, probably we identify new disease gene, uh, two to three new disease gene. Okay. So, but we also, you see, you like to apply what we learn from this uh, rare disease condition. With I hope we will have some uh, some idea. You see, uh, um, you see, this is a somatic mutation. Probably you apply for you see ovarian aging. And then so the, I have, you see, that for a long time, I'm, I was interested to look at this, uh, you see, a replacement therapy, and I've been collaborating with a group, you see, in, um, in Oregon. And then so we, uh, most of the time, we are doing embryo, you see, because none of them can uh, implant, you see, in, in this country. And then so we are... Uh, uh, probably I'm not allowed to talk too much because this paper na in Nature was just accepted last week, and then so many of uh, inf uh, some of the information, some question you get asked, maybe you come, you probably will get. Uh, I'm pretty sure next week will release. Uh, and then so, and then so we um, we also you see uh, try to see uh, before uh, be because you see the U.S. was not. Uh, uh, you see that policy was not very friendly for these replacements, and uh, even you have mitochondrial replacement could be very complicated. And like, so we are trying to look at you see how can we do but paternal mitochondrial DNA in, uh, inheritance. Like, so that will be dilute, you know, mutant the mitochondrial genome from mom. And then like, so so you see for this particular project, you see for to do this. Um, um, you see, a uh, nuclear replacement, mitochondrial replacement therapy is very important techn technology. You see, pool, you see, this, this is a valid. And then, so uh, I know Dr. Zhang uh, been working this uh, uh, transfer for a long time. But uh, you see, it really allowed us to analyze, you see, the precisely for this embryo, and also you see the uh, patient's outcome is really recently because it is the uh, Next generation sequencing really can help me to do a lot. And then, so one thing we try to, again, so my country is complicated nuclear and the mitochondria country interaction. And then, so you have many things you have to, you have to figure out. Okay. So this is the one for technology we've been, uh, uh, we've been using with an uh, NGS to do a mitochondrial genome sequencing. And then, so uh, we, uh, you see, from clinical point of view, many years ago, you see diagnosed really molecular lab confirm diagnosis of my country is very low, you see, many years ago before new technology, about six percent patient you see you can diagnose really molecularly say, okay, this is a and uh, but you see with the new technology we indeed you see that improve a lot and then so we are we are able to do this. And then so this technology really allowed us to detect a very low percentage heteroplasm. As you see that Lou just talked about it. You see when you carry over a very small percentage of uh, you see uh, maternal mitochondrial genome, how can you detect it? You see the older technology absolutely no way. You see you cannot do it. And I'm gonna show you some of the data. You see that's very important for you see um, um, and uh, for for us. And then so, uh, and then so you see that now even you see technology we use, you see you can do one the one test, you can see deletion, duplication, and all everything. So so it's a pretty very straightforward, and the, uh, and then you can you you will know exactly where the deletion is. So so our our laboratory is really first one you see uh, use this technology, and uh, many years ago. And then you can compare the older technology, single sequence. If I don't tell you where is a mutation, you pretty much you see anything less than 20%, you probably will be hard for you. This is the background, or this is, you see, the real mutation. 
And then so, so that's why you see when you carry over is so small, you see use all the technologies not very good. So that's, you see. And then so the pa paper was uh, published, you see, uh, many years ago. Even it's not the very um, prestigious journal, but you see they get high, a lot of attention. Pretty much you see entire uh, uh, molecular uh, field you've been using our technology uh, for last few years. And then so, so another very important thing is you see mitochondria, the interpretation for data is completely different from nuclear genome. Even you have completely separate uh, uh, database, you know. So we, are, we, are, we had the called MetaMast, which is, you see, accumulated many, many, uh, you see, normal control. We have uh, over 10,000, uh, over 100,000 control. And then so allowed us to interpret data, you see, that's what, very important. And then so, again, you see that mitochondria, go back to, you see, nuclear and the mitochondria genome interaction. This is a very good question, very big topic here. This is a paper we published last year in, in Nature, okay? So, and then, so indeed, we did, you see the biggest difference, you see hypergroup, okay? So different people, what is the biggest number of, uh, you see, a SNP allowed you to separate, you see, from right side to left side? It's 95, you have 95 SNP to di distinguish the two groups. Okay, so we did, uh, you see, different, uh, different one. Again, this is uh, still in vitro, uh, in vitro study. And then so we have uh, some SNP, you see, uh, individual, only a few nucleotide difference. Some of, uh, you see, the high difference. And uh, we did up to 65 nucleotide difference. Okay, if you do, uh, you reconstitute the uh, egg and the embryo, embryo seem can develop very nicely. And then so that didn't seem like any, any, any problem between this, uh, you see the, uh, and the length of we can differentiate the cell into the, you see, cardiac myocyte, fibroblast cell, look at the function of mitochondria, seem that they're okay. But, and I think I, we also going to have a very caution, see, between uh, the length of, again, this is the number of uh, cases, not, I think we did, a, I think, a, uh, about 40 embryo, but you see, still consider very small number. And again, this is an in vitro experiment, not, uh, you see, the, anything we already put into a, um, a human. So, so again, you see that uh, I want to emphasize uh, that great, we are very successful, and then so we are uh, making the first baby, that's a very important first step, but we had to be very, very cautious, and then so what is the, uh, 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 more research on this needed, and then so we had to, uh, um, and the, in terms of application too, you see, we had to be. Okay, so this is, you see, that I think we used, uh, publish, last year we published in cell stem cell, which is we using, we are using for, you see, for somatic cell, not uh, ovary or anything, but I think we can apply for this, uh, uh, everyone's study. And then so if you look at the mutation in young, young, uh, 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 individual, and uh, if you fiber, this is a poor fibroblast cell, you probably have a small number of uh, fibroblast cell with, um, with a mutation. But you see, again, mutation load is very low. You see, if all the technology, you will not, you will miss, miss it. And, but if you use the fibroblast cell, this cell, fibroblast cell, to do, to derive an IP cell, IPS cell, which is from individual cell, and then you can see the increase in number. But when you get older, this is, a, this is a here. When you get older, you can see that number increase tremendously. And then so if you use an older individual cell to make IPS cell and the sort out is an incredible number, you see. So last you see, I think you see will be applied to the same thing, you see the ovarian aging, you know. I will say, you see, probably you start very young, you see, you have less mutation, but you see, when you're making, you see, a individual cell for, you see, for egg and length, so you, you probably get in, into, into a problem. We would like to apply for this technology to, to more, um, um, uh, like, reproductive field. And then, so another thing is, you see, the, okay, so we say that, okay, after you see, in, in, um, uh, uh, fertilize, f uh, fertilization. What happened to father's mitochondrial genome? 
ways of my country ghosts. And then, so I think you see many, long, long time ago, you see people say, okay, what, because you see the, my country is in the middle part of, you see, a, a sperm, you see, after you see a fertilization, you cut off a tail. And you, you, you don't have my country getting, getting into it, okay. So, but you see, that's not a case. You know, you can, you see, you did, a, you, you can get, you get do all the time. You, you can inject, you see, it still disappear. That's a specific pathway to, uh, to degrade, make, slightly degrade my, my country genome from father. Okay, so I am not, not going to get into it, and then so all this pathway, and then so the, if you see that, you, if you remember beginning of my country fission fusion, if you, you, you see a fact, you see a, a fission fusion, you will delay, delay the process, delay the process, you know, for the mitochondrial, uh, uh, mater paternal mitochondrial uh, 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 elimination. And then so we do find some family with biparental mitochondrial inheritance, which is a very high number percentage, a very high number. And then so hopefully next time I will have more opportunity to talk to you about the UC mechanism and the molecular mechanism, et cetera. So, so again, so it's more, it's not, there's no conclusion from this talk. You see, it's still many things open for us to discuss. And then so, and this is already, and the, what is the back, um, 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 you see uh, uh, bottleneck effect, and then so do we really have a paternal inheritance? Can we do anything for that? And then so is our very aging similar to uh, somatic uh, uh, aging? And I'm very pleased, you see, we, um, I always feel you see my country and the nuclear talk to each other, and I'm very pleased to see David's uh, talk, you see, telling me, and then so uh, we hopefully we can do more. And then, so this work is mainly done by uh, um, a postdoc and also two postdocs. And then, so we, I collaborate with many people here. And then this is a, a funding agency. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.